This time it's going to be on Screeny. Basically, Screeny is a uh, fancy way to do screenshots. Uh, very good for a presentation. I think I've seen some of these on uh, the Apple Keynote. So let me uh, show you here. Uh, it's very easy to use. You know, this is the interface here. And all you got to do is just drag out um, three uh, screenshots or whatever picture that you want to use into the program. So let me do that here. Um, so this and maybe this and um, let's see here this one. So that's really all you gotta do right there, and uh, th they'll let you um, manipulate it a little bit here. Show you. Uh, so you have uh, this, and um, right here, over here, you you can do. Um, you know, just slide it back and forth the the way you want it. So look at the center here. You can uh, do the angles, right? Leave it alone here. Uh, the right side and the left side is you know they have like uh, different options like offset, uh, distance, and angle. So you can do something like that. Not a big deal. Uh, so that's what you can do there. And as far as opacity, you can do opacity. I give you some little thing, and uh, the white background you can change that. Let me see here. You know something like this, and when when you're done, you just um, right click on this, and they give you the save uh, option here. Now in here, to to let it save, you have to actually uh, give it a name, so I just call it that, and you got to type in dot png. All right. PNG. Otherwise, it, it doesn't save for me, so that's why I tell you to do that. So let's save it to the desktop. And now we have the file here. All right, and this is the finished product. That's how it looked like, and you can use this to, um, you know, put it in your slideshow or whatever it is you want to do. So that's a pretty good way to impress someone if you you want to do that. And the good thing about this is it works on all the you know the systems. So Linux, Mac, and Windows, uh, you have that. Now, if you're on um, Linux here, just um, open your package manager, and it's gonna be called Screeny, but uh, it's gonna be called uh, the Qt version right here. This one, Screeny Qt. Uh, so that's it. That's uh, what you have to install, and um, that's all you gotta do.